Hasta la vista, baby. Get away from her, you bitch! What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another movie review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the new movies releasing in theaters this weekend, and it is a biopic of an iconic singer, Elvis Presley, and that movie is... Elvis. Directed by Baz Luhrmann and it stars Austin Butler as Elvis Presley and in the cast you also have Tom Hanks and Cody Smith McPhee. From his childhood in Tupelo, Mississippi to his rise to stardom starting in Memphis, Tennessee and his conquering of Las Vegas, Nevada, Elvis Presley becomes the first rock and roll star and changes the world with his music. So I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I was honestly looking forward to this movie. I am a big fan of biopic movies whenever they focus on an iconic musical artist. Like we had Bohemian Rhapsody and we had Rocket Man. And now going into it, just seeing the trailers, the casting, the director Baz Luhrmann, who's a pretty mixed director. He's done movies such as The Great Gatsby and Moulin Rouge, two films that are very mixed and divisive. And so what were my thoughts overall on Elvis, guys? Does this movie totally surprise or does it totally disappoint? This movie honestly surprised me how much I really enjoyed it. This is honestly one of the most well-depicted biopics about an iconic artist that was just very dark and dramatic. And also just a lot of fun from start to finish. Starting off with Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors of all time. And when I saw he was in this movie, I thought that was a pretty random casting. But Tom Hanks in this movie did a great job of making me hate him. And I'm not supposed to hate Tom Hanks. He's one of the most lovable, non-hateable actors of all time. And I just hated his character in this movie. But he did such a great job as Colonel Parker in here. Just their connection, him and Elvis. Of course, they were partners for such a long time. And just the things he did in this movie just made me disgusted. But the performance Hanks gives in just... The transformation alone, just impressive from Tom Hanks. There was also some great supporting performances in the film. Cody Smith McPhee's in it. He isn't in it much, but he's pretty good. Kelvin Harrison Jr. is great. Dakri Montgomery from Stranger Things is also in it. He's pretty good. Olivia DeJong, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her last name. She was fantastic as Priscilla Presley, Elvis's wife. And the mother in here, oh my goodness, phenomenal. Those were the two strongest supporting performances by far. But now let's talk about Austin Butler in particular. I really am unfamiliar with this actor. I know he was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and was also in Ned's Declassified from what I looked up. I love that show. I had no idea he was in it. Apparently Ansel Elgort, Miles Teller, and Harry Styles were the three other choices to play Elvis Presley. And shout out Warner Brothers, you picked the right Elvis Presley. Austin Butler's performance in here is absolutely phenomenal. Like, I saw Elvis Presley from the whole two and a half hour or close to three hour long movie. Like his performance in this movie is incredible. The way he sings, the way he moves like Elvis, and just the performance Austin Butler gives, just absolutely phenomenal. I could tell he put in so much work and effort to embody Elvis and act like Elvis and talk like him. I will be very disappointed if Austin Butler does not get nominated for an Oscar because his performance is incredible in this movie he makes this movie watchable from start to finish and he gives the best performance in the movie by far now the biggest job a musical biopic can do is go through the life of the iconic whatever the movie is told and we get to see elvis's story as it's narrated by tom hanks and the performances elvis gives and how much the fans loved him especially the females the way he's able to move with swagger 
and also the downfall at the same time. And I just love when musical biopics really dive into just tragedy. And I love the movie doesn't shy away from any serious moments in the film because there's a lot of tragic moments in this movie if you know the history of Elvis Presley. I would honestly recommend don't look up everything that happened in his life in Wikipedia because the best way to watch this movie is not knowing much. And it's also just a very important movie. Like if you want to know more about an iconic singer like an Elvis Presley, this movie definitely gives it to you. You're going to see the great performances. You're going to see some great acting. And also things you may not have known about Elvis. And there are definitely things I didn't know about Elvis watching this movie. And was totally shocked by watching it. There are some issues with the film. I think the screenplay is a little bit wonky at times. Especially Tom Hanks' character. Now this is a very different role for Tom Hanks like he plays this guy that of course he's the manager for Elvis Presley and his dialogue in here is pretty strange a lot of this movie is narration as well as in-camera conversations and a lot of Tom Hanks's dialogue in here is pretty not explored as much we don't really get much of his motivations this character and the dirty stuff he does to Elvis in this movie I just felt like his dialogue and conversations with Elvis Presley aren't really as compelling as just Elvis alone. Which brings me to the runtime of this movie, which is almost three hours long, just at two hours and 40 minutes. There were a lot of sequences that they dragged out and there's a lot of history they dove into Elvis in here. And there's so much history they couldn't have crammed in or else we could have had an over four hour long movie, which apparently there is a four hour cut out there. By the third act alone, once we got a good amount of the meat, it adds a lot more to it and I'm, I'm full. Like I, I had a great meal, like I don't need more. I felt like this movie overstayed its welcome. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts and grade for Elvis, if this is your guys' first time checking out the channel and you enjoyed this review, definitely hit that like button and consider clicking that subscribe button if you want weekly reviews, ranking videos on this channel. I do tons of them. And guys, you don't want to miss what's coming out on the channel very soon. I was totally surprised by Elvis. This movie really explores Elvis Presley, what he was like as a singer, how beloved he was, how controversial he was and it's because of Austin Butler his performance is incredible in this movie wish we could have saw some more from other characters but guys this may be one of the best biopics about an artist in a while on my rating scale I'm going to give Elvis an A minus really enjoyed this movie guys definitely go see it in theaters this weekend there you have it. That was my thoughts on Elvis. What did you guys think of this movie? Did you love it, think it was okay, or did you absolutely hate it? And also, what is your favorite movie biopic about a music artist? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!